okay. <laughs> I forgot we left off like that. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> freaking dress. <laughs> dress and the Mega Man helmet. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um, we look beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Frank is indeed a, a beautiful woman. <laughs> so, that'll be the next Mega Man boss, skateboard woman. Uh, yeah, exactly. Um welcome to part thirteen of the Dead Rising playthrough. Uh continuing on with the uh, day number three of uh the game. Uh oh that's right. Oh, uh, our next task is the bomb collector because Carlito's going to blow up the mall. Uh, but it looks like we're not doing that, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I am not exactly sure what I am up to right now. I guess I'm having fun using the sword to slice up zombies. Oh, wait. No, I am doing this correctly. Right. I don't have access to the underground maintenance tunnels because I don't have the key for that right now. So I have uh. to go to the... Uh, the one and only uh, entrance right now, which is the parking garage. <laughs> oh, yes, the convicts are back. <laughs> Remember, <laughs> we're not going to fight them again. There's no point into it unless you want some extra uh, experience points. But uh, don't need to right now since you already did their little side quest there. But yeah, they come back. Um, I'm not exactly sure how the... Uh, the time works for that. Magic. Just magic, yeah. <laughs> it's the same three. <laughs> Alright, here we go. The underground uh, maintenance tunnels. Uh... Oh, fuck. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Blows up! <laughs> uh, so this is actually... This is actually one of the many endings of this game. Um, if you if you let the bombs blow up, you run out of time. Um, this is the ending. This is what's called ending F. <laughs> the mall blow up, and the zombie contamination just spread throughout the rest of the country and uh you lose the game <laughs> wow <laughs> so yeah uh <laughs> so i am i am actually that's a good segue into this uh, i am actually showing off all the endings in this game oh cool yeah so you guys get to see uh what exactly uh happens with each specific ending and the all the criteria that it takes to uh get all of them so mm -hmm ending F, <laughs> you don't collect the bombs in time, and you let them all fucking blow up. <laughs> <laughs> ending fail. <laughs> Are there any uh, endings that require you, like, more than one playthrough of the game, or is it technically possible to, like, get all the endings with one save file? Um, hmm. It's a difficult question. Um, because the base game has only the one save file, and this game very much encourages multiple playthroughs mm -hmm. so like let's say you get ending F there um, you can either restart to your last save point and just uh, try do different ending from yeah. there or uh, just do like how the game kind of wants you to do it and restart from the beginning of the game yeah that's, that's what I was kind of asking like is it possible to like like re reload your save file and get like multiple times to get all the different endings or are you actually like are there endings that require you to actually like start the game over and do different stuff in a certain way um it, it would be the latter because um, okay yeah because uh, some endings um this endings that are not the bomb ending um <laughs> requires a different uh criteria to meet it because uh the the goal here is to survive the three days and make it to uh the helipad uh, at a uh, 12 noon on the fourth day so but you can and there are a whole bunch of endings uh that are on the helipad on that day it just mm -hmm. uh is a matter of what what kind of things did you do up until that point to uh, get it? Okay. Yeah. yeah. 
So the majority of the endings are basically at the helipad. Um, okay. Yeah, this one is special because you let the fucking mall blow up. <laughs> 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 so yeah, not possible to get all the endings in one playthrough. The uh, re-release of this game for PS4, I think, um, gives you more than one save file to save slots in. I'm not exactly sure how much that changes the overall game. Because this, because uh, I'm playing the base game here on the OG 360, and mm -hmm. you know that only has the one save file because they want you to play a certain way. But I'm not how much I'm not sure how much that changes when you have. M multiple save files to, and you can save to anyone at any time. So, I uh, yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> I guess <laughs> I guess if you didn't want to go all the way back to the beginning of the game and you make a like a strategic save point, like at the beginning of day two or something, then I guess you could go back to that. But uh, yeah, very much requires additional playthroughs. <laughs> if you couldn't already tell the underground maintenance tunnel is um, if you wanted to get the tally of killing all 53,000 zombies um, then this yeah. would be the place to do it <laughs> yeah I actually saw a video about that like a really good way to not only get that achievement but also just in general to like level up really fast if you're starting out like really early in the game and don't like you're on a very high level or whatever right um, and he, he showed like this whole route of like you you go to like a like a certain parking lot for like a car or whatever, and you basically just like just try to run over as many of like the explosions to get like a bunch of zombie kills, like like just oh, like taking a certain route or whatever, and you swap cars once in a while because right. they eventually but, take damage and you can't yeah. use them anymore. So he, he like he like takes a certain route and then he like loops back around and goes back to the beginning. You, you can just do that over and over and over again, and just level up like really quickly especially if you have like the the book or whatever that gives you more exp uh like for, or oh, whatever yeah. for doing stuff yeah so you can yeah he, he says like yeah just go to this like area get like the exp book and then just like go over here and just like go back and just go back and forth through the tunnels and you get like he went from level one to like level like 20 something like super quickly <laughs> damn <laughs> yeah <laughs> you can access this uh the underground maintenance tunnel very early game so I'm just doing it at the where the the story requires you to be here, but you can come here much earlier in the game. Yeah. But yeah, that is a that is actually a very smart way of getting all that XP because <laughs> the reason why I did this game, this playthrough New Game Plus, is because early game fucking sucks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 And so and so by kind of doing a strategy like that and just leveling up a lot like super quickly, you'll you put yourself at a better spot if you're if you decide to actually like. You know, if, if you're, like, done grinding and you can actually start playing the game normally, kind right. of. Right. <laughs> if I, we can actually figure out the story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, like, it's like, that's basically what he, what he said. Like, yeah, just do this. Just grind up. You know, you, you just, like, just kind of essentially just spend your three days just kind of grinding over and over and getting the kills for the achievement. Mm -hmm. And then once you're at a decently high level, then you can actually, like, play the game somewhat normally. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> Because you want to make sure, because leveling up, you get more health bars and more uh, combat abilities. You don't have all those combat abilities at the beginning, no. I think all you have just is a fucking straight-up one-two punch. <laughs> 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 Maybe a kick, but uh, yeah, you pretty much have nothing. Uh, <laughs> uh, and you only have the four health bars, so that yeah sucks. <laughs> Oh uh, yes, load the bombs in the shopping cart. Yes, the shopping cart. This is the best place. <laughs> <laughs> I found what I was looking to buy. <laughs> cool fucking explosives. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got my fireworks. <laughs> and surrender.
Max Payne. <laughs> Yeah, Carlito is actually, like, was in the underground maintenance tunnel, kind of, uh, during the bomb sequence, kind of acting as, like, uh, an obstacle boss, uh, but of wow. course, I took care of him with the small chainsaw, <laughs> 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 so you barely got to see it. Well, he's dead. Yeah. <laughs> he is very <laughs> much dead. <laughs> God. Well, shit. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> well, well, shit. <laughs> We did it, guys. We saved the world. <laughs> yeah, I did it. I saved the world. <laughs> Brad went after Carlito. Copy. Report back here, Frank. Yeah. How about we check up on Brad, though? <laughs> Let's make sure that he's okay, you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, if I could fucking turn around. Come on. <laughs> God, driving the vehicles is a little awkward in this game because it's the fucking accelerating is fucking done with the face button and not the oh. trigger. <laughs> yeah, because it's essentially acting as an attack, so they map it to the attack button, which is awkward. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I can, I can see the thought process, but it's kind of weird still. <laughs> yeah, just weird. Anyway, let's check up on Brad. <laughs> let's see if he's doing all right here. This is an optional cutscene, by the way. Brad? Frank! <laughs> Don't get any closer! Stay away, Frank! Don't get near me! <laughs> What's the matter, Brad? Are you hurt? I'm coming over there, Brad. We'll go back together. If you're hurt, we'll patch you up. He is, um, more than just hurt. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just a tiny bit. <laughs> just a little... You just put some Neosporin on, you'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> Neosporin. I'm screwed. <laughs> yeah, maybe a Band-Aid. <laughs> Neosporin, a Band-Aid, and uh, the fire. <laughs> no, he some peroxide. Just... <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, he just needs yeah, some. It'll buff right out. <laughs> I can't see anything with this lighting. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, though, yeah, I can't see jack shit. <laughs> this lighting's not very great right here. <laughs> Don't tell Jesse about this.
I'm <laughs> back in the car. <laughs> There's zombie Brad. Well. Hi there, buddy. Well, let's get one last photo of you. I'll show this to Jesse. <laughs> Great! 200 peepee! <laughs> <laughs> I hit him with the disembowel. I <laughs> <laughs> was a fucking Mortal Kombat finish. Him. <laughs> Fatality. <laughs> yeah, I figured I I could either punch him or or kick him, give him some sort of honorable death. Kick shooting, him a smooch. <laughs> give him a smooch. Yeah. Ram him with the car. <laughs> <laughs> I almost thought you were going to do that. You were just going to just smack him against the wall with the truck. <laughs> uh, I want to give him uh, uh, a hero's death by fucking disemboweling. <laughs> <laughs> Pulling a straight up Mortal Kombat finisher. <laughs> exactly. Finish him. <laughs> All right, but uh, now we have the uh, maintenance tunnel key, which means we can uh, access all the doors connecting all the maintenance tunnels to the rest of the mall. So yay, we don't have to go through that parking lot anymore if we want, ever want to come down here. It also kind of sort of acts as a shortcut between the places. I say that hesitantly because one, the shortcut that we access earlier, the one from Paradise Plaza to Wonderland Plaza is just that, a shortcut. Whereas if you want to get from, I don't know, say Paradise to the food court, uh, you'd have to make the track through the maintenance tunnels to actually get down here. And not every entrance to the maintenance tunnels has a vehicle on standby for you to just fucking plow your way through the zombies. Uh-uh. You'd, uh. <laughs> you'd have to do that on foot. The only vehicles that are down there are like the car and the big truck, the big van, mm -hmm. and that's it. <laughs> I had to get that motorbike from the parking lot. <laughs> so wouldn't exactly recommend, but I guess you can do it if it's. Fuck! I left one in. God damn it. <laughs> No, god damn it. No, this was... I edited this playthrough around the same time I was editing the Skyward Sword playthrough, and... Oh! <laughs> I was just a little bit lazy. Uh, yeah, I was a bit lazy when it came to my freaking uh, sessions. Because I, I used that the next day transition between my Skyward Sword sessions because I wanted to signify how fucking long a game it was. <laughs> 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 yeah, but I ended up using it in the Dead Rising playthrough as well because I honestly couldn't tell you why. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember because I feel like I don't... And I wanted to go back and cut all of those out and I thought I did, but apparently I left one in. So I wanted to cut those out because, like, freaking, this game has you know the 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 day mechanics, and freaking, if I left that in, that would just be misleading, you know. But apparently, I left one in. Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> just to be clear, this is still day three. <laughs> <laughs> His secret fourth day. <laughs> <laughs> this is still day three of the game, so don't let that fucking next day screen confuse you. I meant to cut that out because I was just being a lazy motherfucker. So, don't be a lazy motherfucker. <laughs> No, see. <laughs> oh, god damn it! <laughs> Perfect timing. Perfect timing. That Wi-Fi decided to shit the bed at the wrong time. Oh, is that what happened? Okay. Oh. Uh, yeah. Well, f funnily enough, <laughs> the f part thirteen just ended. <laughs> so comedic timing all around. <laughs> 
If you were Carlos, I'd be laughing even harder. <laughs> I almost thought it was, honestly. <laughs> I thought he was just going to come in here just to mess with us. 